hey guys you're welcome back to my channel this is Ajilam here thank you so much for stopping by and if this is your first time of coming across my channel please subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you get to know anytime i put up a new video so guys for today's tutorial i'll quickly show you how to make a satin bonnet without elastic band for a baby girl so if you're interested let's move down to work see i have my african print this is the satin that I'll be using and this is a stretchy fabric that I'll be using for the band. Okay, as you can see, it's very stretchy. So now, I will take my satin. As you can see here, I have... Let me open it up. Actually, this I'll be making this for an 8-year-old. So I need to use... Here I have 18 and on this other side... I have 22 inches okay so now I will now fold it over same way you fold when you're making a circle dress a full circle dress that's how I'll fold it then I'll fold it over again like this so as you can see this side is folded this side also is folded Okay, so now I'll be using um, 9 inches from this point. Okay. So I'll mark out 9 inches from this point. Remember, this depends on the kind of hair the girl is carrying. If it's a braiding hair, you know, you need to be very free to accommodate the hair. So that is 9 inches there. I will take it round. So here is 9 inches. So after marking it out, I will now cut it. After which, I will repeat the same process on the main fabric itself. Okay, so here is 9 inches. So now I'll cut. Actually, you can make this in less than 10 minutes. It's very easy and simple bonnet to make. So now I'll open it up and you will see what we have. Here we have a full circle. Okay, so when you open it up, I will check what I have from this, from this line here. I'll just use my tape and go around to make sure that I have exactly what I really need. So I'll just go around like that and make sure I have up to two to third of the measurements because her head circumference is 21 inches. So here I have. 57 and half which is very okay at least it's up to two third of the girl's head circumference so now i'll cut out the same on the main fabric so this is the main fabric it's a leftover you know fabric so i'll just fold it the same way i did okay for the satin as you can see this area is folded as well as this area okay so now i'll mark out the same nine inches which i did which i used for the satin from this point here i'll mark out the nine inches which is here and i'll do that all round and after doing that i'll cut as well then we will now proceed. So that is the nine, as you can see. So now I'll just cut. So this is it. I'll open it up now, making sure that the back is facing. This is the back while this is the front. So I'll make sure that the back is facing each or that this is the back so now i'll place it over like this 
and I will use my gather stitch and run it like so all the way around leaving like a quarter inch because I will need to gather it to give me the 21 inches which is the head circumference so now let me just gather it first so this is what I have after using my gather stitch to run it all round so now I'll use my hand and gather it the same way you do when you're making a gather dress so I'll use my hand and move it gently all round after after which I'll check use my tape to check if I have the 21 inches which is the head circumference so let me just do the gathering first after pulling it as you can see so now I will check if it is up to 21 inches so here like this it should be 10 and half so let me check okay this is 10 and half which is 21 inches so now for this area the place the point that I started I need to stitch it with my normal stitch so that it doesn't lose out from here so let me stitch it first I've, I've stitched that area and I'll use my hand to adjust it making sure that there's no um, loose area so after that I will now take this um, stretchy fabric because that is what I'll be using as the band and remember like I said the head circumference is 21 inches but I'll be cutting out 20 inches you know it's not supposed to be exactly um, the 21 inches so this is 20 inches here I'm just cutting it out straight away after which I want the band to be two and quarter on fold so now so now i'll fold it over remember i said i would like it to be two and quarter so this is it so i'll check what i have here this is two and quarter and okay this is two and three quarter which is very okay because of the seam which i'll be using okay so now I'll mark that out all to that point then I'll cut it out this will now be this will now be the band that we'll be using okay so this is it here so after that now I'll just cut it out straight after cutting it out I'm going to join it together before we join it before i join it to the bonnet itself so this is it and this is the front so now i'm going to open it up and close it I'll close it like this let me just do that first so as you can see i've joined that so now i will take my this um the bonnet okay making sure the front is facing the front of this side then i'll pin it like this okay i'll pin it all the way around okay as i'm going like this i'll be pinning it and also be adjusting it if there's any any space i will adjust it then i'll pin
start pinning it okay so now i'll just take it to my sewing machine and i'll stitch i'll stitch it all round but i'll make sure i stitch behind the, this gathered line that i have here so i will start from here and i will stitch it after which i will now turn it over so as you can see i'm done with that i've stitched it all round so now i will fold it neatly inside i'll be using half inch here and i'll fold it inside like this okay then i will use my pin to hold it like this so i'm going to do that all round After pinning it, this is how it looks. So now I will stitch it, okay, in the middle of this line here, in between this and this. That line, that is where I'll be stitching it all around. Okay, so let me just do that quickly. So guys, this is the final look of the bonnet. As you can see, it's looking so beautiful. So this one is very okay for an say um seven years ten years especially when they have their braiding on this is very okay so guys that is it for today please subscribe if you have not and turn on the bell notification so that you get to know anytime i put up a new video so guys i will see you on the next one